There's a story of when uh, a man goes to the desert, he's camping with his friends, and then he decides to walk off one evening. The evening he goes walking, 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 and he can't stop, he keeps walking, 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 walking. And then oh, night passes, and the sun's coming up, and he's walking. So one man came to him and say, uh, Sir, uh, you're going in the wrong direction. There's no shelter there. And if you go there, um, it will not be good for you. He says, oh, thank you, thank you, uh, uh, thank you. And he keeps walking. After time he walks, he sees some, feel like an oasis with palm tree and water. And he starts to run because he's thirsty. He's running to this oasis. But he can't get there, he keeps going. And then he collapses. His lips are completely chopped. Someone comes and picks him up, takes him to a safe place, gives him water. The man said to him, he says, thank you, thank you. The man said to him, I live in the desert. I know what you're seeing, but it's not real. We who live here know this. It's just an illusion. Don't go this way. Come back with me. He says, okay. Thank you. Thank you. But I want to go this way. So he goes off again. <clears throat> and after a while, it's very, very hot. He has his handkerchief around his head, Englishman. <laughs> and then he sees again this, this water. Oh, I go, he starts to run again, run, 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 run. And again, it's, he's not getting closer. And then again he falls, exhausted, <sighs> almost to death. Again he's rescued and taken to some safe place. When he recovers, a man says to him, Sir, I've been watching you for a while. You are going in the wrong direction. There's nothing there. Only death is there. This water you see is not real water. All travelers know this. You see, all of us who live here, we know this. Turn back with me and come back to a place where you can be safe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But off he goes again. And again morning comes, and he sees this thing, and oh, he sees people bathing in the water. And, oh, he's running on, say, hello, I'm coming, I'm running, running. He goes again. The man picks him up, takes him aside, gives him water. He says, sir, look at around you. These are all bones, dried bones of your predecessors. They were all before you. They all saw what you are seeing now. But there was nobody there to rescue them. And now they're just landing places for the vultures. Now. What you're seeing is an illusion. All travelers and all people live in the desert. We know this. Don't go any further or else you will not last. And somehow, this time he really hears it. He says, it is not real, but how it comes like that? He says, I, can, I cannot explain. But this is something that people who live in the desert, we know. We know it. We don't go there for water. We carry water with us. And so he says, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I've been very a very stubborn person. I did not listen before. I could have been dead now. <coughs> thank you. So this day is finished. Thereafter, he goes back. And after this, he goes walking in the desert sometime. And he sees again, but this time he doesn't run after it. It's there. It's the same thing. <clears throat> These thoughts, they come, and they feel real enough. And you feel, no, 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 I, if only I can work this out, everything will be fine. And you're told, leave those thoughts. You know? There's no future for you there. You will just exhaust yourself, your energy. Stay here in the place where you can see them, but don't pursue them. And establish your, your true position here. Then one day you hear, after you hear this in your heart, 
the thoughts they still come, but you don't give any attention to them. And shortly after that, they disappear. They don't, they don't exist.